Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, there is no music. <laughs> Welcome to The Mystery of the Persian Carpet, a Sherlock Holmes game. Another Frog Wears one. Um, this was on the poll. Uh, no one's at level four, so I get to choose. Um, okay, there's meant to be music. That's a great sign. I was wondering what to do, and I know we've done a lot of Sherlock Holmes games, so I thought, let's do this one. Uh, let's not do time right, untimed, please. Um, and um, I looked at the reviews, and the reviews are all, this is horrible, don't do this, this is a bad Sherlock Holmes game, this is a bad hidden object game. So I'm going to see how far I can go. <laughs> um, we may or may not complete this, it depends how bad it is. Um... Not even centered. All right, easy puzzles. Seven puzzles can be skipped. Guided linear inv investigation. Um, difficult puzzles. Three puzzles can be skipped. Guided linear investigation or freedom of investigation. Uh, freedom of investigation. Now I did actually look at this, and basically the only difference between the guided linear and the freedom of investigation is you get to jump around, but you have to go back and complete things in a particular order. Um, and this just means you can do things in a different order, but they don't impact on each other, so you don't gain any benefit from the freedom. So we're just going to go in casual mode. London, the 7th of August, 1896. There we go, music! Hooray! This summer is decidedly stifling homes. There's no <laughs> deduction board. That looks like a child wrote it. Uh, why don't you take a holiday in the country, Watson? An excellent idea, Holmes. Will you accompany me? Uh, I think I shall answer this note from Scotland Yard <laughs> instead. I don't want to go on holiday with you, Watson. Scotland Yard? Uh, do you recall that we received a plea for help yesterday? Yes, to resolve this mis the mysterious murder of a poor, miserable painter. No suspects, no leads, but you said that you don't have time for this type of business. But I've just learnt the young man was found rolled up in a remarkable carpet. Persian, probably. Remarkable. An expensive Persian carpet that had been stolen. And... It changes everything, Watson. Will you accompany me? My dear Watson, let's acquaint ourselves with this affair. We can go to the scene of the investigation and pass by Scotland Yard as well. Continue praying, press the X at the top. Right, welcome to a new investigation. You are, okay, right. The, I can't turn the music down. <laughs> okay, it's too loud now. Right, you're portray portraying the famous detective Sherlock Holmes. You'll need to explore scenes in order to find clues and reveal suspects. The crime report is available at, Sh at Scotland Yard. The police will make available the interrogations of suspects and statements of witnesses and make use of them. Of course, you also have use of your lodgings at 221B Baker Street to analyse certain clues and draw your conclusions. In each scene, you must collect the objects displayed at the bottom of the screen. Uh, click with the mouse in order to collect. When the cursor turns on into a magnifying glass, you have access to a magnified view. The cursor also turns into a gear and signifies there's an action. Feel free to use one or more tools to act in such areas. You have help in the form of the hint button when you click on it, one of the hidden objects is highlighted. To read this letter, I need to stick all the pieces together. To start the puzzle, just drag the torn paper across to the puzzle icon. Turn to scene, you cut to that. You're, you're playing with the time note that you're not officially authorised to investigate. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, I'm not. I turned the, play, the timer off. You can pause the game by pressing the escape key. The little gear icon indicates a combination to be, is to be completed in the scene itself. And the bottom, there's a puzzle. Gold means it's done. Okay. Right, okay. Main menu. Okay. Okay, I can't actually click the main menu button. It's a great sign. Click on crime report to examine the victim. Here is a crime report we've been given. Read the text and select the words that connect to the items indicated below. Okay. The victim is known to the police force. This young artist recently arrived in London was under suspicion for having participated in various robberies. Okay, this isn't counting up, which I think is a good sign. He was released due to lack of proof. He moved out of the Benson boarding house where he had been lodging for a year. Address unknown at this time. Contents of pockets are a few pence, a handkerchief stained with multicolored paint. The victim was killed with a white weapon. The blow was struck. The blows were struck to the back. The victim was rolled up in a carpet which happened to be one of the items stolen in the Great Sparrow residence uh, robbery. Okay, and then we do everything else on our own. Given the quantity of blood spilled on the carpet, the victim was undoubtedly killed on this carpet or rolled up in it immediately after the murder. 
appeared the victim was not killed in the location where the body was discovered, but was most likely transported in the carpet and abandoned at the second location. So, weapon. A witness gave a statement to go to Scotland Yard to read it. Okay. Confirm the witness's words by clicking on the green button. Right. Um, I always start my rounds at 6 o'clock in the evening. I'd already checked that room twice. I always take good care because that room had been home to vagabonds at one point. So my dog smelled the intruder as soon as he got near the place. I was starting on my third round when my Toby started to growl. So I ran towards the room and saw this carpet. I thought to myself, this is my lucky day. I unrolled the carpet by Jove. There was blood, blood, not even thick yet. I didn't even faint, I should tell you. And I did what I had to do. I ran to find a policeman at the station. It was around midnight, I think. Okay. Okay, so now we go up to the, the cement works. How do I... Okay, I can't... Right, click all the objects. Right, so we got... Okay. Oh, there's a thing over here. If it's got an action... Is that a light and it's lit down here? No. Oh, I have to use the matches. Right, okay, so that gives us... Right. There's the carpet. That's the paper. And then that is a puzzle. This paper was ripped. Reconstruct the message by placing the pieces in their proper place. Take a piece by clicking it with the left button, right click. Uh, rotates it. So this is going to be somewhere here. Uh, that's there. That's that way round. That makes sense for there. No, so that has to go there. Oh, right, that goes there. And then fill in the edges. Okay, yep. Mr. Gordon, thank you for your help. Uh, I have deducted it from your rent, thus you still have £7.50 50, 50 pence to settle. Uh, n probably not the correct way around, because that would be, that's, that's modern money rather than what it was. So there we go. We now know where this unfortunate painter was living. Okay, we can use hints if we want. Ah, no, that. No, I don't want to use the hint. Yeah, yeah, I, I'd seen that one. Uh, and then we've got this one. A gr oh, a green cloth. Oh, I can mouse over it and tells me what it is. Well played, Holmes. Congratulations, right, Holmes. Your incredible talents of analysis have, analysis have once again made sense of all the clues, but for my part, I am no further ahead. This business seems simple, Watson, but I already sense something out of the ordinary. Shall we see what Mrs. Pitticott's testimony will tell us? Right, so we go over here. Of what tragedy? Such a handsome young man. I rented him a small room. Wait, here's the key. He had some he had many financial worries, so we had an arrangement. He took care of my garden, for example. And a new location. So, uh, his room. When the cursor appears as a magnifying glass, click on the zoomed-in area. Uh, so we can then get that. Okay, so that's just. Oh, there's something he Oh, okay. Oh, there's a, there was the knife there. Um, oh, and then we got that pitcher of water. Painting was painted with watercolours. Curious. Find the hidden painting by using the moistened paintbrush to soften the paint on the sponge to lift off the superficial layer. So we... Okay. So it's this one. And I've got seven puzzle skips over the entire game. Uh, so, I mean, this isn't really a puzzle. This is just incredibly boring. Um, because this isn't actually doing all anything, is it? Um, yeah, this isn't actually doing anything, is it? Unless you're meant to wet the paint and then dab it off, maybe. Uh, which is possible. 
because um, we don't have a sponge, which maybe I'm meant to, or maybe I'm maybe I'm meant to already have the sponge to do this. I mean, if this is the level of puzzle we're working with, I think we're all right. Right. Um. Okay. Yeah, this isn't actually giving me a new picture to by removing this, which is what I thought we'd be doing. But we'll get everything wet. All the little sections. There we go. Oh, there's still some bits over there. I don't think there's anything up there to deal with, I think. Uh oh. It won't let me actually put my put the brush down. Alright, there we go. Uh, so let's find the sponge then. Okay, I can't. F oh, there it is. Oh, I, oh no. And then we. Now we rub this painted section. Ooh, is this a lady? Why did he paint over the woman? Okay, so that's interesting. Oh, I see. I didn't... Did I not get that bit wet? There we go. Right, so we're just... Rub, 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 rub. We find ourselves a lady below the flowers. Although, yeah, I'm not entirely sure how much I need to... Do I need to rub the whole thing? Because that's a little... Excessive, I would say. I'll try and get as much off as possible. There we go. Woman's warning is no longer in doubt. A love story. And then there's some dust somewhere. Is it that? Oh, is it the blood? Ah, that's blood. Well played, Holmes. We're on the map to explore a new place. So we head to the garden. Uh. That's a thing. I'm clicking on things because they look hidden. Right, so we've got a footprint, a book, a key, some kind of knife. Oh, key. Ah, so then we use the key on this. There's our book. I don't know if it, is, is that the book? Aha! Is there a hidden message on this page? Decode the message by using the decoder to locate the words. Drag the coder, the decoder until you uh, um, until you read a text, then click to hold it and then click each each letter to the message. We don't have a decoder. Okay, so we have to. How do I not have a... No, okay, we don't have a decoder thing. So I need to find it then. Oh, I found a thing. Some mud traces. Okay, now I'm just clicking wildly. Can't look in there. Right, what am I looking for? A menacing letter. Okay, so there's nothing else in there then. A me so there's a letter somewhere. And a shoe print. Ah, oh, there's the shoe print. And then there's a letter somewhere. I will use a hint. Really? Okay, that's a. Uh, that's the. That's this. I don't know why it says. No. Uo. Oh my goodness. This is so many kind of levels of mean. Right. 
so it's not Eo Doff No Thigh Oh hello Maybe that's meant to have that in. Oh, hello! Ah, yes. I will kill you, Vincent. I will kill you, Vincent. Mary Summer. It's a curious letter which seems to accuse its author. Mary Summer is the woman who posed for the painter, apparently. Uh, suspects file. See what the suspects are hiding. You must use the magnifying glass to find the clues connected to the suspects. Simply uh, click the magnifying glass and click where you think when you think you've found something. So, right, well, lipstick, shoe. Um. What am I looking for then? What am I looking for? Oh, hair. Oh, earring. Bit of a blemish there, but I don't know if it's just not well put together. No, not that. That was a finger. Oh, a um, bit missing bit of finger now. Okay. The actress's hair and act. No. Blood. No. How do to find blood? And a, and ribbon. There's multiple ribbons. Oh, there we go. Apparently, there's blood somewhere. Apparently, right. Extract the statement. I've been involved with him since for a few months, but I was the one who supported him. He was worse than a child. He also came into my house or back, into my box or backstage. Yes, I threatened him because he sold a jewel that I had given him as a token of something. Click on the an, 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 analyze table to analyze the clues. Use the microscope and little vials to analyze the collected objects. In order to look at an item up close, just select it and place it under the microscope. To analyze the compositional item, pl place the test tube on the Bunsen burner and place your item inside. Associate a solution eventually or light the flame. Double ribbon. Microscope. Take the scalpel. Take the tweezers. Interesting. I keep the subject for 